Hello guys, I hope you guys are doing well. Now I am going to record a lecture on uh, particular integral when your capital X is of the form uh, sin X or cos X. Okay, so for this case, now we try to learn. It's a quite simple, okay, to calculate the PI for this form. You have to just rewrite your f of d in terms of phi of d square right and replace d square by uh, negative of a square and what about a a is here okay a is here this one okay so just replace d square by a square with negative sign remember i am recalling here a square with negative sign don't read it as minus a square most of the uh, students uh, mistakes here uh, that uh, minus a square they read it as minus a square and unfortunately they try to write minus a square is equals to plus a square and they do the mistake okay so don't do this try to read it as a square with negative sign so d square will be replaced by a square with negative sign okay and uh, this will be the pi but provided that phi of minus a square uh, should be non-zero okay similarly in uh, the case in terms of cos x will be deal uh, in the parallel okay will be followed with the same steps as we have done for the sin x okay now in case if uh, it is zero okay in case if it is zero if uh, phi of minus a square is equals to zero so in this case we try to write we write x upon f dx d sin x and f dx d we rewrite as phi dx d square and we again repeat the process so if it is non-zero then it is your new pi in case of phi of minus a square is zero okay if we, if we phi of minus a square is negative is a uh, phi of a square with negative sign is non-zero then here we have finished our pi if it is not then we continue to write it as x upon phi f dx d sin ax or x upon phi dx d square sin ax okay and then we try to repeat the same process and if it is non-zero then we finish here if it is not equals to zero if it is equals to zero then we again repeat it okay like this uh, in this case okay and we need to calculate this this one so um, for example if my uh, uh, like like if i have the differential equation like this d square plus a square y is equals to sine ax right so for the pi obviously uh, i need to calculate uh, 1 upon d square plus a square sine ax okay so for this case when I replace d square with minus of a square, so uh, I, I get here zero. So for this case, I need to differentiate the denominator. 2d was, and multiply by the x in the numerator. So x upon 2d sine x. Now then I calculate x by 2 and integral sine ax dx. What about the integration of sine x? It is minus cos ax. And... Uh, derivative of the ax in the denominator so finally you get this your pi okay so guys we have the number of now to, under, to understand this theory we try to understand it with the help of some examples and uh, first of all i take a small example here solve uh, d square plus 1 y is equals to uh, is equals to cos 2x 
and the next uh, example is d square plus 9 y is equals to cos 4x cos 4x okay we have these two examples so now guys to solve these examples we uh, follow the very simple simple steps okay what we need to to find here we need to calculate first uh, complementary functions and then particular integral for both the questions so now for the question number first the auxiliary equation is uh, m square plus 1 is equals to 0 and we have here m equals to plus minus iota we have the two complex root here of the form alpha plus minus iota beta and here we have alpha is equals to 0 and beta is equals to 1 okay so what about the complementary function here so complementary function will be calculated as e to the power alpha x that is 0 point x uh, 0 into x and then c1 cos beta beta means 1 x and plus c2 sine beta x means x okay so your complementary function will be decided as c1 cos x and plus c2 sin x because e to the power 0 into x is e to the power 0 that is equals to 1. So it is your complementary function. Now we calculate here the particular integral as 1 upon d square plus 1 and cos 2x. Obviously, we replace d square by uh, minus a square with negative sign. So, what about our a? a is our 2 here. So, we replace 2 square with negative sign and plus 1 cos 2x. Okay. So, uh, we get here 1 upon minus 4 plus 1 cos 2x. Okay. And which is what? Uh, minus 1 by 3 cos 2x so what about the general solution so in case of the general solution we find complementary function plus particular integral so what about the complementary function complementary function is c1 cos x and then plus c2 sin x what about the pi pi is what that is minus 1 by 3 cos 2x so it is quite simple to study it okay remember we have the very simple simple questions here to study what about the second part so second part in the second part the auxiliary equations will be as m square plus 9 is equals to 0 so we calculate here m m square is equals to minus 9 or m is equals to plus minus 3 iota so here obviously we have the value of alpha is equals to 0 and value of beta is equals to 3 so now what about the cf so cf will be decided as e to the power alpha x i am writing here the formula in terms of the alpha and beta okay and then c2 sin beta x if the complex conjugate roots are there okay then e to the power 0 into x and then c1 cos 3x and then plus c2 sin 3x okay so you can write it as c1 cos 3x and then plus c2 sin 3x because e to the power 0x can be treated as 1 okay now for the pi simple simply we write it as 1 upon d square plus 9 and cos 4x so here we have the value of a is equals to 4 so we simply replace d square with a square with negative sign okay and cos 4x so what about the result result is minus 16 plus 9 cos 4x and which is what 1 upon minus 1 upon 7 okay minus 1 upon 7 cos 4x 
and what about the general solution so general solution will be decided as complementary function plus particular integral and the complementary function is c1 cos 3x and then plus c2 sin 3x okay and then minus 1 by 7 cos 4x so these are the two parallel questions okay to understand the pi and the cf in case of cos x and sin x now we deal a question of the different flavor like uh, question number two so what about this question we have the question uh, d square minus 3d plus 2 y is equals to sine 3 x now we need to solve it so first what about the auxiliary equation auxiliary equation will be decided as m square minus 3 m then plus 2 is equals to 0 what about the solution so m square minus obviously 2 plus 1 m plus 2 is equals to 0 m square uh, minus 2 m minus m plus 2 is equals to 0 so take m common here m minus 2 and minus 1 common here m minus 2 is equals to 0 so m minus 2 m minus 1 these are the two factor of the auxiliary polynomial and we have the two roots which are the distinct and real the complementary functions will be decided as c1 e to the power x and plus c2 e to the power 2x so what about the pi so pi obviously pi will be calculated as 1 upon uh, d square minus 3d plus 2 for such type of questions you have to work smartly okay just we need to replace we have here the value of h3 and we, re, we need to replace d square with the negative sign of you know uh, uh, 3 square okay minus 3d and plus 2 sin 3x okay we need to solve it further so it is you know minus 3d and it is minus 9 and plus 7 plus 2 so you can write it here plus 7 minus 7 because 3 square that is 9 and with negative sign so minus 9 plus 2 minus 7 and minus 3d okay and sin 3x so now to uh, make here uh, d square what you need to do here so first of all take a minus common outside okay and then just try to make the d square here so to make the d square in the denominator we simply multiply 3d minus 7 in the numerator and 3d minus 7 in the denominator to make it the is formula of a square minus b square okay remember in this case in this case you have to do this work okay so every time every time 3d minus 7 and what about here 9 d square okay and minus 49 and sine 3x now you we have d square in the denominator so replace d square with uh, 3 square with negative sign so 9 minus 3 square so minus 49 so uh, sign 3x okay finally you write it as minus 3d minus 7 and in the denominator it is minus and minus how much 9981 9, okay 81 and minus 49 obviously this minus this minus is cancelled out by this okay sine 3x so what about the final answer uh, as i see the final answer will be for 50 uh, and plus 80 that is you know uh, 150 plus 80 is 130 okay 130 and 3d uh, just uh, try to multiply by the sign 3x inside so 3d uh, sign 3x and minus 7 sign 
3x. So finally you get your answer 1 upon 130 and 3. Derivative of sine 3x is what? Cos 3x and multiply by 3. Right? And minus 7 sine 3x. So your final answer is you can write here 9. So you can divide 9. Uh, okay, you can write 9 upon 130. Okay, cos 3x and minus 7 upon 130 sine 3x. So it's your wish if you want to. Uh, you know, I think it 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 cannot be. 7, 7 is 49. No, no, no. It cannot be uh, further simplified. So now what about the general solution? So general solution will be decided as uh, CF and plus PA and the CF is C1 e to the power X and plus C2 e to the power 2X and PI is 9 upon 130 cos 3X and minus 7 upon 130 sine 3X. So we have the varieties of questions. And obviously remember one thing if you want to learn the topic then you have to do the varieties of question you have to solve the varieties of question after that you will hold uh, the complete or the entire concept now we solve this question okay uh, with a, a simple theory now first uh, we write uh, we try to find out the complementary function and for the complementary function we require here to find the auxiliary equation and the auxiliary equation will be decided by m to the power 3 a square m is equals to 0. So we have here uh, m common so you can write here m square plus a square is equals to 0. So you have here three roots of three values of m m equals to 0 and plus minus uh, a iota okay so you have the complementary function as uh, c1 e to the power 0 into x and plus e to the power 0 into x and c2 cos a x and plus c3 sine a x okay and in the simplified form you can write it as c1 plus c2 cos a x and plus c3 sine a x which is your complementary function and now for the pi uh, for the pi you can write it as 1 upon uh, d to the power 3 and then plus a square d and y d sine a x okay and i think you can write it as 1 upon d you can take d comma here and you can write it as d square minus d square plus a square sine a x and obviously it is the case of 1 upon d square plus a square when you replace d square by a square with negative sign so you will get here 0 okay so your f of d will be treated, treated as a 0 here so in that case you can differentiate the denominator that is uh, 3d square and plus a square right we differentiate it with respect to d and then we multiply by the x so it is sine a x okay then you replace by d square with a square with negative sign okay and then plus a square sine x and i think we have the answer x upon uh, negative it is minus 3 a square plus a square so minus uh, so uh, 2 a square because we have taken the minus uh, here okay so uh, we have the uh, pi is sin x very simple very simple manipulation here we have done so what about the general solution so general solution will be decided cf plus pi and cf is c1 plus c2 cos ax and plus c3 sin ax right and then your pi is minus x upon 2a square sin ax 
okay which is your general solution so guys you can do number of questions here with the same theory let us start to solve this question okay now come on we have the simple methodology here first we write the auxiliary equation an auxiliary equation will be written as m square minus 8m and plus 9 will be equals to 0 and we know the C area I think we can solve it with the C area because directly we cannot middle term split because we don't have the factor of 9 such that on adding them we can get 8 okay so for this reason uh, we can we can apply here uh, Sridharacharya okay that is you know we compare it a m square plus b m plus c quadratic general form so we will decide here the value of a b c a equals to 1 and b equals to minus 8 and c is equals to 9 so you can f uh, write it in the formula minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so what about this minus p means you know plus 8 because minus is already there and then plus minus square root b square means uh, you know uh, 64 minus 4 a value is 1 and the c value is 9 and then divided by 2 a value is 1 so you can write here 8 plus minus square root of 64 and minus 36 and then divided by 2 so we have here 8 plus minus square root what about the 64 minus 36 so 14 6 it is 8 and 5 that is 28 and divided by 2 okay so you can write it as 8 plus minus 2 square root 7 divided by 2 and you can write it as 4 plus minus square root 7 okay we have the third root here so the complementary functions will be decided by simply you know uh, e to the power 4x okay and c1 cos hyperbolic x square root 7 and then plus c2 sin uh, hyperbolic x square root 7 so it is your complementary function now to decide the particular integral we need to solve 1 upon uh, you know d square minus 8d and plus 9 okay and 40 sine 5x okay now to solve this we simply write here one we re replace d square with a is what about the a that is 5 a, a square is 25 and minus a square with negative sign this minus 25 so we replace d square by minus 25 okay and minus 8 d and plus 9 and you can write here the 40 here 40 uh, sine 5 x so you can simplify it as 40 divided by it is minus 8 d and what about minus 25 and plus 9 uh, I think it is minus 16 okay it is minus 16 sine 5 x right so you we can simplify simplify it as uh, 40 and we can take minus 8 common so 8 plus 2 here and sine 5x okay sine 5x so we can uh, it five times and it is minus 5 and to make here d square so we need to multiply d minus 2 uh, in the numerator and denominator as well so d minus 2 and d plus 2 every time if you have the linear factor in the denominator with the odd power then we multiply it to make the d square in the denominator okay d minus 2 and sine 5x and we have minus 5 d minus 2 sine 5x and 
we have d square minus 4 here okay and then again we replace uh, d square with uh, uh, minus 25 right so we write here minus 5 or you can cancel out this minus by this minus so you can write 5 upon 29 and d minus 2 uh, d minus 2 here we have forgotten sign 5x okay sign 5x now simply uh, multiply uh, inside so we have 5 upon 29 and d sine 5x right and minus 5 upon 29 and 5 into 2 right we have the 2 also here 5 into 2 uh, into sine 5 x so finally you can write it as derivative of sine 5x is what cos 5x into 5 that is 25 upon 29 and cos 5x and minus 10 upon 29 sine 5x so in simplified form you can write write it as 25 cos 5x and minus 10 sine 5x and then whole divided by 29 and then you can decide the general solution as P cf plus pi so what about the cf cf was c1 plus c2 cos uh, what was the cf uh, cf was okay 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 cf was uh, let me write the correct one c it was uh, e to the power 4x and uh, c1 cos hyperbolic x square root 7 and plus c2 sine hyperbolic x square root 7 okay it was your complementary function and you can add here pi 25 cos 5x minus 10 sine 5x so guys we have the simple simple manipulations to solve this type of uh, higher order differential equation just you are required to find here cf and plus pi